Hey guys, it's Ash here, and welcome to my yearly review for video games that I enjoyed in the year of 2019. So, most of the time, whenever I try to do this, I try to focus mostly on the games that came out in 2019. Uh, kind of like the games of the year kind of awards, but, uh, over the years, sometimes I just never have enough or I never end up having time to play enough games. So I think like over the past few years, I've actually included games that came out in the past or certain packs and stuff that came out in the past of like certain games and counted that as, you know, the year they came out as things so and this year is kind of one of those years where like only two games in 2019 are games that I actually enjoyed playing in the year of 2019 and the others are games that I have played in the year of 2019 and you know I really enjoyed them like I it, they're games that I couldn't put down and I couldn't put down years beforehand uh, some of these are obvious games that have obviously been on my list for years now, so there's that. But yeah, so I'm going to start off with the fifth one. It's Stardew Valley. Stardew Valley came out February 26, 2016, and it's always had a small little warm place in my heart. Um, I really always have enjoyed Stardew Valley. Uh, growing up, I used to love Harvest Moon, and I would play those games nonstop, all the time, all year, every year, because that was that. It was like Stardew Valley, Animal Crossing, and Zoo Tycoon. Those were like my games as a child. And yes, I will talk more about Animal Crossing in this video. But yeah, I just, it's such a cute little game it's a pixel game and pixel design and pixel art is a little bit of a soft spot in me and plus like farming games in general are always like soft games in my personal point of view I've always loved them and enjoyed them and yeah I just you know I really loved it so going on to number four this one is a bit of an obvious one, but uh, it is Sims 4. Uh, specifically, I guess, the University Expansion Pack. Uh, Sims 4 came out uh, September 2nd, 2014, but The Sims 4 has also released, what, one, six, five, five packs this year. Um, they released Strangerville, Island Living, Moschino Stuff Pack, uh, Realm of Magic, and Discover University. And... Personally, I really loved Discover University and Strangerville, actually. Those two were, like, really good packs from my point of view. Um, as a lot of people would be like, oh yeah, storyline pack, blah, blah, blah. But really, it was just, it was really good. Like, all the stuff in it is just good packs. Um, Island Living was one of those packs I was kind of eh on. I enjoyed the fact of mermaids. And I still enjoy the fact of mermaids and mosquito stuff pack was kind of like, nah, I, the only reason I bought that pack was because there was very nice looking windows and that's about it. But yeah, realm of magic I enjoyed. I love the whole concept of magic and having a Harry Potter world and going back to Hogwarts kind of idea, reality, you can live in the Sims and Discover University is just one of those packs that felt like a necessity in life. Um, a lot of people go to school, a lot of people go to university, and so people choose not to. But now we have the ability to choose to go to school or not. And I love that a lot in The Sims 4. And yeah, I just, everything about it's so great. And I've, it is obvious on this channel and obvious in general all the time every time whenever I play like any video game on this channel it's very obvious I've put a lot of time in The Sims 4. I don't even want to think about the amount of hours I've put in The Sims 4 uh, but yeah I've really enjoyed that game as much as I hate EA. I really enjoy playing that game and it's just you know a soft spot in my heart like all these games are. Um, 
So going to number three is actually a bit of a surprising one. Uh, it's Grand Theft Auto V. I... yeah. This is a new one, and it's a surprising one for me. I think at the beginning, or near the end of last year, in 2018, I really started getting into GTA roleplay. And I'd watch, like, no pixel streams and no pixel streamers and stuff like that on Twitch. And I just fell in love with the stories and everything people did in roleplay in GTA. So, halfway through this year, I started out myself and I had a ton of fun, you know, doing it myself. And so, yeah, uh, GTA came out seven. September 17th, 2013, and that is the oldest game I have on my list. Why, I don't know, but I love it nonetheless, and it is great. And yeah, it's such a good looking game for how old it is. I'll just say that. It's such a good looking game for how old it is. Um, Coming at number two in my list is actually a bit of a surprise, counting at how much hype I had for this game and how much love I have for the game series in general. It is Kingdom Hearts 3. It came out at the beginning of the year, uh, this year, and I actually played it on stream. I also have the series up on my channel if you want to watch me go through and play all of it. Uh, and it made me cry. It genuinely made me cry. Um, like all the Kingdom Hearts series have made me cry. And I loved it. It was great. I fully enjoyed the game and I fully enjoyed playing it. And everything about it was just beautiful and great and fantastic and yeah I really loved it but it just part of it could have been better I wish it had been longer I wish it had been bigger I wish they had the ability to develop it more and extend it a bit more because like in the original Kingdom Hearts series it took you forever to go through all the worlds in this game, you could finish Kingdom Hearts within 24 hours, and that just, it doesn't feel good. It doesn't feel the same. So, yeah, that's it with that. Uh, but I love it all the less. It was a beautiful game. I loved all the characters. I got so emotionally attached to it, like I do every year or all the time with Kingdom Hearts. Like, I have a tattoo on my shoulder with the nobody symbol for a reason. Um, Kingdom Hearts is always going to be a soft little warm spot in me, and I love it so much. But yeah, now to go to the number one spot of my top five video games of 2019, it is Planet Zoo. Uh, yeah, this is a surprise. It came out this last November, so that tells you, like, how, like, much of an impact it's had on me recently. Like, it's I love it so much. It takes me right back into my childhood with, uh, with, um, gosh, with Zoo Tycoon. And it takes me back into, like, all my childhood things. But it adds on to what I have and what I enjoy now, which is, like, building in The Sims 4, creating these parks and creating these beautiful things. And, yeah, it's everything I've ever wanted and more in a in like a zoo game, and it's just so great. I love it so much, and I could spend hours. I could literally. I'm probably going to be playing this game for years. Honestly, I'm probably going to be playing the game for years. And they already came out with like an expansion pack as well, so there's probably plenty more coming within the next year, and. That excites me so much because, like, I just, I love the game so much and I keep on coming back to it and it's just, it's perfect and great and I already have so many hours in it and I've already posted videos of it on my channel and I've streamed it and it's just obsessively, I'm just obsessively addicted to it and it's just perfect and great and by Planet Zoo and you'll understand. Now, for games I'm looking forward to 2020, 
oh my god we're going into a new decade 2020 let's go baby um <laughs> games i'm looking forward to for this coming next year is going to be the animal crossing it's horizons i think animal crossing horizon new horizons i think that's the name of the next uh let me see your yeah animal crossing new horizons um i'm very excited for that game i love animal crossing i play the app almost every day on my phone i've used to play new leaf religiously on my uh 3ds and I used to play the original Animal Crossing religiously on the GameCube, and in fact, we still have that original game uh, hooked up to the TV downstairs at home. My sister has destroyed the room, or destroyed the game a little bit, but I don't care. It's humorous, and I like it. And yeah, but yeah, I'm looking forward to New Horizons. I'm so excited for it, and I'm excited for the new year to see what kind of things we get to see and do and play and enjoy for the new year but yeah thank you guys so much for watching happy new year uh i'm excited to see you all next year and all that fun stuff and yeah thank you guys so much for watching please leave a like subscribe and all that other fun stuff and yeah i'll see you guys next year bye